All right, to continue from the last video, which is basically the install and import of whatever theme you want to use, uh, we're going to go in and just go through a really quick uh, summary of how to customize things and, and do different things, you know, change the color of the fonts and all that good stuff, okay? So let's start off at the top, and this is the basic layout, all right? And it's got the quick page links, which this is the home, and then you can go to the thank you page, which looks like that. And then there's even a blog page that you can customize and, and do things with. We are not going to go through all the details in this video for the blog stuff, okay? That's not really what this is designed to do. This is just kind of a back-end feature. So I don't want to go into detail and confuse things. That That's going to be for a separate video, okay? Um, but let's just focus on this, okay? So um, first of all, you could change your... Um, favicon here just uploaded that it should be 16 by 16 okay we're not going to go in through all the details about how to create all this stuff you should know how to do that or have a graphics designer or whatever but this is the the placeholder fav favicon so you can either change that or leave it or whatever and then you can also put in a, a site logo if you like um and here's the sizes for that okay so then we go into the opt-in page which is this is basically this page right here and you can see the different information so you can change the headline however you want you can bold and italicize whatever you need to there's a sub headline that you can have right here or if let's say you just didn't even want that you simply delete that click Save Changes go to it and refresh and you can see that it's no longer there Okay, so it's just up to you, whatever you like. We like it there. So we want to make sure that we do that. Whoops, highlight all kinds of things. So this is the opt-in video or image. So in here you can see we have YouTube embed code. Okay, and so you can, ideally what you should do is take the videos that we have given you, upload them to your own and or your client's YouTube channel and then use that embed code and paste it right there because the reason you want to do that is to you know build out your your own or your clients YouTube channel everybody that watches this video is going to give credit to our YouTube channel not yours so that's why you want to upload the videos and, and, and install them to your own YouTube channel but that's all you do so right there paste it in there you can use those or maybe even make it a little bit bigger but we usually just keep it at the 560 to 315 and it'll look perfect just like that as far as size wise and you can also do an image as well if you need to and that's using um, HTML code to to paste the image in there so you store the image somewhere use the the proper HTML code uh, and and input it in there we're not going to go over that right now again that's something that you should know or your your programmer type person helper person should know okay so now for the autoresponder code all right this is for the form so this is a template right this is the template content that this is not an active form right here okay so what happens is is you need to use your autoresponder service like a Weber or uh, MailChimp or whoever and when you create a form inside of that service then they will give you um, either like JavaScript code or HTML code and you take that code and then you actually replace it in here you just simply paste it in there so you can design it however you want it to look and then you know if you want it to look just like this you'll be able to do that inside of your autoresponder service Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Then down here is just the copyright information down here at the bottom. And we'll create a menu. I'll show you how to do that so you can get a menu up there. But right there, create that. And you can just edit it however you need to. Okay, I'm going to save changes because I don't know exactly everything that I did. And then the thank you page, again, we kind of saw what that looked like. Just open that up so you can see it. Um, you know, you can, and I'll show you where to change the colors or, and all that stuff and, and click the button. Usually what we do instead of click the button, we just change that to just click here 
to download the report you just put whatever your link is there we'll just put in a fake link apply and then there you go hit save changes and so this link would be to whatever your PDF report is wherever that's stored okay simple enough and then you know of course you can change whatever if you want to add another space there that's fine too but change you know whatever your call to action your second step you know the phone number all that good stuff hopefully most of this is self-explanatory so you know exactly what to do okay and then um, we've already went over the import export so then the last section is just the basic layouts right and so this is where you can the basic layout is for the news page blog so these these are more of the advanced stuff okay we're not going to worry about going over that stuff okay we're going to focus on the opt-in page and the thank you page and so here you could just change your headline color let's say you don't want blue but you want black okay so you can just do that Hit save changes and then it changes it to black okay now let's close that out so the headline bold color let's say you want that to be red sometimes you have to go in and I'll show you if it doesn't take effect okay so you see how that's bolded but it didn't take effect so all you got to do is usually just kind of give it like a little update here you know whoops didn't mean to do that okay so save changes go back bold that save changes and then we should see that it's red now okay so there you go pretty cool huh easy enough okay um, so let's keep going. So, and then there's just different things that you can, you know, the promo background, let's say that you want that to, I don't know, I like that blue, so I'm going to keep it, but let's say we want it, you know, a little darker or something. Oh, let's change it more than that. Let's change it to a green. That'll stand out more. Save changes. And then it's the green background. Okay, so you can see that you can customize this and edit it however you need to. Um, and this is really helpful, especially if you're working with clients that kind of want to use their own color scheme and, and things like that. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all those. You can mess with that. And then the same thing with the thank you page. It has all that information there as well that you can do. Okay, the number one thing is to remember when you change something, just make sure that, that you hit the save changes. Okay. So then the only other thing that I wanted to do, we'll hit refresh, make sure that that's changed back, is to show you where to add a menu there, which is under Appearance, Menus, and then you just need to create a new menu. And, oh, whoops, right there. So you just call this one Footer, and hit Create Menu, and then you can just use these. These are the, the, the four basics that we do to add them to that menu okay and then make sure you click save all right then the next thing that you need to do is go to manage locations and then the footer menu needs to be right there hit save then you come here hit refresh and then now you'll see the the footer menus there okay so you can see that it's really really easy to customize it's easy to use um, you know it should make things very very quick uh, for you and all that good stuff but you know we're always going to try and enhance it always try and make it better so if there's anything that um, any ideas or suggestions that you have please you know contact us at our help desk and uh, and we'll be happy to, to add them to the list of enhancements so thanks for watching